Hi, this is Kim. Did you know you can create ads for all of your products for thousands at a time in bulk? You don't have to do them one at a time. I didn't know that either until yesterday, so I'm going to show you what I discovered. In Seller Central, go to Advertising, Campaign Manager. Here you have a tab for Bulk Operations. You can download a bulk file template. And this template is not entirely intuitive, even if you take time to read the instructions. So I'm going to walk you through how I created an ad for over 2,000 items from my aged inventory all at once. And if you're laughing or feeling superior because I have over 2,000 stale items, go ahead. You probably should. It's a little embarrassing, but I'm going to do my best to get rid of them. Here is what I did. This uh, spreadsheet comes with instructions and explanations and even a template, but it was not entirely helpful, so I'm going to help you. You are going to give your campaign a name in column A. I called it stale. That is going to go all the way down to the very bottom of this thing. The first row, row number two, is just for my campaign. I gave the campaign a daily budget of $10. I gave it a start date. I gave it an end date. The end date is optional. You don't have to fill that in. There's a targeting type, auto or manual. I want Amazon to choose my keywords because this is such a broad assortment of products. There's no way I could pull them all together with a set group of keywords. So Amazon is going to figure out the keywords for me. That's an auto campaign. Add group name is blank here. Bid is blank. The only other thing that needs to be filled in is campaign status. I want it enabled. Next line is going to be for my ad group. Again, it's part of the stale campaign. I don't fill in any of these columns. I gave my ad group the name April Stale because I'm hoping to do this every month. This was the stuff that was stale back in April. I gave it a bid of five cents per click, which is very much on the low end. I don't want to pay a lot for this because I haven't tried it out to see how effective it's going to be. No SKUs, nothing else is filled in on this line except that I want to enable this ad group. So the ad group is enabled. Next line, this is where you create all your individual ads by giving it a list of SKUs. It's part of the stale campaign. It's part of the April stale group. And now I list my SKUs all the way down the row. They're all April stale. They're all stale campaign. They are all enabled. And that's it for this entire sheet of 3,000 SKUs. Well, 2,300, I think. Then I save it as a CSV file, which is going to save only this, this sheet right here, not all four that you see. It'll do that by default. That's all you can do with the CSV. It'll give you a warning, and yes, you're okay with it. So once you save it, you're going to come back over here and click on the Upload tab. You're going to choose your file. There's my April Stale campaign. It's just an ESV, Excel comma separated values. I would choose it. And then I would click Upload. I already did that. And here you can see all the times that I messed it up trying to get it right. And hopefully you can avoid all my mistakes and trial and error and get it right the first time. It just took a few minutes to go active, and now I have ads on 2,300 of my products. The old ones, the ones that I wanted to go. It's only going to cost me five cents a click, and hopefully we'll get some good sales out of there. We'll try it out for a little while and see, and worst case scenario, it's going to cost me 10 bucks a day for nothing. But I think it will do better than that. This is stuff that didn't move otherwise, so hopefully it'll move this way. And if it doesn't, it's a small price to pay for a very big, potentially very profitable experiment, right? All right, have fun with it.